Hello again, and welcome to my less than video. This is one of the biggest curses in the binomial distributions, because when you're dealing with less thans, you have to know how to translate the sentences accordingly. And I'm going to be putting a lot of emphasis into translating sentences because it's not just in this part of the course, it's in multiple parts. So just keep that in mind with me for the moment. In our case, all these translations must be in terms of at most. Now this is a spoiler because not all of them have to be, it's just the PDFs that don't have to be. But we'll discuss that a little later. Actually, scratch that, we already did. So to continue on, if I had a sentence stating that there are less than six people attending the trip, then if I wanted to convert this less than to at most, well, then that means there are at most five people attending the trip. So instead of having uh, the number six included, we just say, well, we know we want less than six, therefore we could either have zero or one or two or three or four or five. But can we have six? Uh -uh. That's just because we want less than six. So just keep that in mind for a moment. Now, if we want to know the chance that less than eight planes were arriving on time, and again, Hi guys, sorry for the interruption, but the video did say preview in the title, and if you want this video, then you're going to have to go on to another website to find it, which is called tallguymath.com. The link will be in the description, and the link will be in the video, but by all means, please go to Tall Guy Math to show your support. Thank you.